Hi. Hi. My name is Markiplier and I'm here with Mama Plier. Hi everybody. We just got done with the how well do you know uh, your child thing. Now I've got another quiz of how well do I know you. You ready? Yeah. First question, what color are your eyes? And I'm not gonna look. You write down the answer, don't let me see. Okay. All right, brown. I'm sorry. Wrong. Wait. No. Black. No one has black eyes. That's brown. Black. <laughs> Wrong. Next. What is your favorite thing to do? Okay. Your favorite thing. Don't show me. Oh, sorry. I can't see. Oh, uh, pardon me. Your favorite thing to do is bargain shopping. <gasps> I forgot about that. <laughs> That is right. <laughs> but I think I chose the 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 the. the what did you write that? I have a few favorite thing to do, but that is right. Ah. I wish I had to choose that answer. Well, what did you put? I put right here. Cooking. <laughs> 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 little piggy, little piggy, piggy. Oink, oink. What would you consider to be the nicest thing I could do for you? What would be the nicest thing that I could do for you? Oh, I know. Mm. I know. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with pay off your bills. <laughs> but that's a nice thing to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> but not the nicest? That's not the nicest. Well, why not? It's pretty nice. I mean, it's nice, but it's not, uh, it's, um... <laughs> I, my answer is a little different here. Okay, what is your answer? My answer is as a mom. Mm -hmm. oh. That's so nice. Oh, can I ask anything better? Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice. You never changed. You always same that ever since you were born. Uh -huh. Except you lost some weight. <laughs> you got 10 pounds, 3 ounces when yeah. you were born. Since that. Uh -huh. Other than then, you know, you never changed. You're the same. Your face and hardly changed. Except you got a little bigger. Personality is still the same. Happy. Uh -huh. Look out in life is about the same. So no matter what. That's too nice. <laughs> You can't do that. That's too nice. That's <laughs> too nice. We didn't too get much. into the deep, <laughs> nice questions. If you had all the time and money in the world, what would you spend your time doing? All the time and money in the world. Yeah, uh, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you had all the time in the world, you would... <laughs> travel the world. <laughs> you would build a compound and start a cult. You'd love to be a cult leader. <laughs> you would. You'd make a great cult leader. What was your answer? Not a cult leader? Maybe when I was younger, <laughs> but no. Uh, same. I'll be your mom. <laughs> this is too nice. Oh, come on. That's so nice. That's you, so nice. All the time and money in the world, you'd still be my, what does being my mom entail? Would you? <laughs> okay, well, you know that. <laughs> Being your mom is uh, make sure your stomach is full, mm -hmm. you have a bed to sleep, mm -hmm. and a uh, clean place to come home to. What else can I do? You could start a cult. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, what's your greatest unfulfilled dream? Go ahead. Uh, you were never a singer. Unfulfilled dream. A dream is you dream so bad uh -huh. that not didn't come true, right? Mm -hmm. My answer? Yeah. Nothing. Uh, this... You know what? What you know what? Truly, what was my dream? Yeah. When I was, ever since I was ten years old, mm -hmm. looking through the thick Sears catalog, mm -hmm. Sears catalog. Have you seen a Sears catalog size of phone book, yellow phone mm -hmm. book? My father brought one. Work for U.S. Army, okay? Just U.S. Sears catalog. In the front, there was, um, you know, mechanical stuff, black and white. And in the back was color. Ladies, well-dressed, 
clothing, bedding, jewelry. That was my dream book. I, before I, every night before I go to bed, I'll open and dream to myself and pray to God. Someday it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna sleep under that bed. Nice, high, mecca style bed. Mm -hmm. A nice, you know, nice place. And I will someday I'll come to America to live. Mm -hmm. Come through. Everything come to what I watch for. Plus bonus, you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, what was your first full-time job? I don't think you know this one. I probably don't. Um, it wouldn't have been, it's not nursing or it's not that. It would have been before that. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you ever clean? Like, no, I hate cleaning. What are you uh, talking about? Did you work in like a grocery store or something? Never worked there. Uh, was it back in Korea when you were working this whole no, time? No, I can't. So your first full time job was I never worked in Korea. Mm. I was in school, dear. Yeah. Think a profession. You can call profession. Uh -huh. That don't require speaking good English. Only skilled, you know, you know perform some kind of skill. You don't have to say anything much other than hello, sit down, open your mouth wide. You're a waitress? <laughs> that's, that's the only waitress experience I have. Oh, you mind what's retro say open your mouth wide? For what? Who would say open your mouth? <laughs> open your mouth wide. Whenever I go to a restaurant, they say, hello, sit down, open your mouth wide. They would say, no, open your wallet wide. <laughs> oh, did you take care of babies or something? A baby <laughs> comes in, you go, hello. Oh, my God. oh. Uh, that that makes sense. <laughs> Dental assistant. Actually, I got a job at the US Army ah. as a dental assistant. Mm -hmm. How do I get hired? Miracle. Yeah. But I worked at the US Army Dental Clinic so in funny. Ohio. I know it's not Ohio. What is that? In Honolulu. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hawaii. Okay, so who is your closest friend? Oh, that's easy. That's so easy. You should know. I have my best girlfriend ever. She is my best, best, best girl. Beautiful girl. And whenever she walk, oh, everybody turn their head and say, oh, what a beautiful woman. No, what a beautiful woman. You make me look. Not embarrassed, and I, I'm not jealous over that attention. You make me so proud of my girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's uh, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, I'm I always forget that's how you spell Lucy. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Lucy. <laughs> Two S's. <laughs> Lucy. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You know, it's around now, like five o'clock after dinner, mm -hmm. around that time she comes. Then and she tap on my shoulder like this. Yeah. If I don't respond right away, mm -hmm. she kind of will scratch. <laughs> yeah. She is very persistent. Yeah. She never give up. Time for go to walk. Yeah. So Lucy's taking uh, Maggie's place as your favorite. Oh come on! Don't tell Maggie. <laughs> I, I won't tell Maggie. Shh. Don't worry, I won't tell Maggie. Shh. What is your favorite kind of music? Music? Music. I think it's like the oldies, like Bee Gees and... Uh, yeah, soft rock. Yeah, know. soft rock? Is that what soft rock is? I think so. Is that soft rock? I'll count it. I'll count that as me getting the right answer. Yeah. Alright, how about this one for a final question? How did you meet my dad? <sighs> I, need, I could write a book about this story. Mm. But I think I'm gonna wait. Wait for the book. No, I'm going to wait the time to pass. Maybe, maybe not. How do I meet him? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? If you wish long and hard, the dream always comes true. So you have to watch what you're wishing for. Because it happened to me. <laughs> Remember, since mm -hmm. I was about eight, I wished to come to America. Mm -hmm. Every night I dream of it. Korea at the time, right now Korea are living 
situation is a lot better, improved a lot. They make more money, they have all the convenience, right? We enjoy in America. But 1980s, not so. It was not for everybody. So when I sleep on the floor, don't don't get to think I'm on the floor, you know what I mean? Blank. I wish that I live in America so I can have a different kind of lifestyle. Well, your father, he walked into my life on uh, suddenly in spring of uh, 1979, 1980, I think. I was in high school, I was 16. And my dad, who used to work in a U.S. Army base, invite one of the soldier who came, assigned to come to Korea for dinner, suffer, you know, because my dad enjoy, you know, treating new officer coming to assign to Korea. And that faithful, that was moment. That was my moment that I met your dad, mm -hmm. sitting next to my dad, drinking coffee and talking. And I was. Uh, shy you know what i mean mm -hmm. korean girl but i had a i just felt like i want to be friend with your with him i want i said may i may i learn how to speak english from you and he said oh sure i used to be an english teacher i'll be glad to so he's been coming to see my dad and me you know what i mean because he has time he was assigned to come to korea for a year you know, I have, you know, that's how we kind of uh, be uh, become a friend. Then four years later, he came back and he fell in love with uh, me, I guess. <laughs> you know, I lost all the baby fat. I was kind of 19, turning 20, 19. Mm -hmm. My hair was, you know, a little longer. When he met me at first, I was like this. My hair was short. Mm -hmm. I had a high school haircut. Mm -hmm. So it's time to look at me as a woman, not as a girl. Because I was 30. Yeah. When did you come to America? I Following year. Yeah. Oh, oh, so when I turned 21. Mm -hmm. December 20, month of December 1985. Mm -hmm. That was one of my dreams came true. Mm -hmm. And Thomas was born two years later? I mean, two years later after that, right? No, a year later. Thomas was born a year later. 87, right? Was it born 87? Yeah, 87. Why well, can't December? 85? Yeah, 87. I forgot mm. about that. Yeah, I was not planned, right? That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any uh, any other embarrassing stories that you want to tell them about me as a kid? Oh my goodness. Embarrassing story. There's so many, I don't know where to start here. No, nothing embarrassing, but I'll tell you one thing. One thing I can tell you. When you were around six years old, you and your brother and I and my sister who came to visit me from Korea, mm -hmm. we went to King's Island, you know, it's in Cincinnati, Ohio, it's a big one. And that was very crowded evening. We went there, so many people, probably a Saturday night. And I don't know what happened. It was so many people. And I look and I turn and you are gone. You were only five, mm -hmm. barely five, maybe four. And I was panicking, I started panicking. Oh no, what happened? And I look, look, you're you gone. Oh my goodness, I could not believe the, the feeling. <gasps> and then the, I spotted a tall uniform, looks like a police officer, whatever, looking like a, an office, you know, somebody who worked there. So I used to rush back to him and say, Oh, sir, sir, I lost my son. He's about this high. Yeah, and it's a boy, and uh, he's gone. He was one minute, he was here, one minute, he's gone. And you know, he said he kind of would smile at me, knowing smile. Mm -hmm. I think I know where he's at. Oh, you do? Go check on the lost and found place. So me and my sister and your brother rushing, walk and run and go there, and then there you are. At the lost and found and playing with toy all yeah. by yourself. It was nobody lost but him. Yeah, I, re I remember that. And I then I, the question, remember what I asked? What? How did you get here? Your question was, I don't know, you remember that? No, I don't. You don't remember, right? No. Because you were so little, so five, right? Uh -huh. But I remember because I was mom and I know. How did you get here? You know what he said? One minute, your mom, you are here, but you're gone. So next best thing I do is I look 
There was a guy with a uniform, look like police officer. So he went there and said, hey, hey, sir, I lost my mom. Can you help me? And he dragged you to the lost and found the way for her. Yeah. <laughs> That's the total story. Well, the thing is, like, I remember looking at the, the big wheel. It was a big spin. Yeah, yeah, wheel, yeah. Like, it was wheel next to it. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember just staring. I was mesmer- mesmerized by it. I was like, whoa. Oh, I wanted to watch it all the way go back down until it was done. Then, then I turned around and you were gone. And then I just remember, like, I don't remember anything in between, like, realizing that you were gone to being in that place. Like, I don't remember asking a guard where, like, to go. All I remember is, um, like, I couldn't find you. And then I remember being in the, uh, mm-hmm. in the lost and found place. Like, my memory's real spotty as a kid. But because I was so desperate, you know what I mean? And then I asked, because I asked the question, how did you get here? And he said, oh, that's what happened, right? And then the guy with knowing smile, I just knew that's true. He, he could have been just like, hey, you lost your child. <laughs> yeah, well, really? How dumb are you? <laughs> any, more, right any more stories? Oh, oh, another thing. This is your wheel. We, I, one time I invited a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And the girlfriend had a girl about your age at the time, uh, four years old, five. And you and your brother and you were playing downstairs in the basement, something with toy, and uh, we were upstairs talking, cooking, whatever. And next minute, I heard you crying. You were crying like, rrr, rrr. I said, what happened, mom? I rushed down, whatever. That, that girl slapped my face. <laughs> Your face was red and bruised. <laughs> Not bruised, yeah. You got red. I said, I said, Mark, why? I don't know. She just slapped me. I said, why did you just slap her back? She said, you know what you said? You remember what you No, said? I don't remember any of this. Well, she's a girl. I know I cannot hit the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you love that. I never told you you should not hit the girl. I don't remember that at all. He said, well, She's a girl. I guess I shouldn't wait to grow. Right, Mom? <laughs> I, I just left. Uh, you don't remember, right? No, I don't remember any of that. So you, you, you never, you, you and your brother never had a fight. No. You always played nicely. We fought like on occasion, but it was very rare. Oh, I never seen her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't when you were around. No, I cannot even remember anything bad. No, we were good kids. We were a bit boring in that regard. We didn't cause trouble. No, not much. We just went out in the woods, played. I remember how pissed I was when I realized I had to go to school. Mm -hmm. That was the worst. Mm -hmm. Just like the the realization that like my life wasn't all play. I had to like go to school. I was like, I want to go in the woods. You see, you wish you play for leaving, right? Yeah. You want you wish to you wish it come true. My life, my life is not playful. Oh. My life is work. Video game is not play? Nah, not when you do it as a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. It's all right. I thought it was an old game. Uh, I wish. I yeah. was wrong. Anyway, well, this has been the How Well Do I Know My Mom? I think I only got one question right, which is pretty decent in my book. So thank you so much for playing this with me. And uh, thanks for embarrassing me in front of the internet. And, uh... Thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, I will be coming to Australia and Amsterdam, Amsterdam in July and Australia in November. You can check out tickets at tour.markiplier.com and hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks again, Mom. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.